when you come to visit this memorial, it's going to be unlike any other memorial on the National Mall. It's a memorial to a movement. Anna Lehman has big plans to fix what she sees as a major problem on the National Mall. Not one of the dozens of monuments is dedicated to women's history. Right now, if you visit the National Mall, you will get the impression that women have not done anything for this country. You will get the impression that women were not here when the country was founded, right? But we were here. That's why Lehman is fighting to change things, leading an effort to build a national memorial to women's suffrage. I want this problem to be fixed, and I want it to be fixed quickly. And here on Capitol Hill, we have seen some movement already. Back in 2020, Congress authorized the creation of the foundation, now run by Lehman, tasked with planning and fundraising. Now they need to act again to give the green light on that prime location on the National Mall. It has to be properly honored. It must be on the mall. Enter Democratic Senator Tammy Duckworth of Illinois and Republican Senator Marsha Blackburn of Tennessee. They're co-sponsoring legislation to locate the monument right here in the center of the National Mall. People need to see this. They need to realize American women have supported freedom and freedom's cause. But there have been some obstacles. The National Park Service says a decades old law prohibits the construction of new memorials on this main stretch of the mall. And yet the proposal has some major supporters, including all five living first ladies. The bill has already passed with bipartisan support in the House. We work together to find commonality and, and you know, I hope that 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 honors the suffragettes. But the bill has so far stalled in a Senate committee. Duckworth and Blackburn say they'll keep fighting and remain optimistic that they'll get this bill over the finish line. Within a decade, you'll see something. Uh, it's picked up steam. It is beyond time that women are represented on the National Mall and this monument is going to do that. And it probably won't surprise you that building a monument here on the National Mall is not cheap. In fact, estimates are that it's going to cost them $80 million, all of it from private donations. If you want more information, you can head to womansmonument.org. Reporting here on the National Mall, this is Evan Kozloff, Spectrum News. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Let Spectrum News be your resource for balanced, in-depth political coverage. And click the subscribe button here. You can also download our app and watch us on TV to learn more about the candidates, where they stand on the issues, and more. We'll see you then.